Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Hamdan kadiran toiban mubarakan fi. Wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam amma ba. All praise and thanks goes to Allah, the creator of the heaven and earth, the exalted, the king, and the master of the day of judgment. Peace and blessing be upon his final and the last messenger, Muhammad bin Abdullah, who came with the deen, the deen of all mankind, the deen which was given to Adam, the deen which was given to Noah, the deen which was given to our prophet Ibrahim, the friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his descendants. So brothers and sisters, I'm here with you today. We are crying to you. We are praying to you. I know most of the people, wherever they are in this world, there is this deadly coronavirus which has put a lot of fear and sorrow to many people of this earth. Many people have been led at jobless, some are at home, some are in low, total lockdown, they don't come of, uh, out of the house, as we see in many parts of Europe and in America. Brothers, what I can tell you is that, put your trust to Allah. Put your trust to Allah. Allah is the one who created all this and Allah is the medicine of all this we are going through. So, I am asking you to have Subra and inshallah to Allah, Allah is going to wipe, wipe away all this fear and soul from us and Corona comes and it will go. Today is Corona, tomorrow there is no, no Corona. Then things will come, become back to normal. And this is the biggest test to the Muminun. And whoever will succeed in this, Allah will give him a very great reward because of Sobera during these hard times. Dear brothers and sisters, as you know, we came from uh, the central Kenya, where the majority of those people in the central Kenya are Kikuyu tribe, the largest tribe in Kenya, and in those places, Islam religion is, is minority. Very few Muslims in their countryside. Many of them you see them in towns, but in the countryside there's no there's uh, there's no Islam. And we have, uh, we have been trying with my brother here, Salim Ngugi, and the others who are not here, to propagate Dawa in those areas. Since we started our propagation some years back, and uh, due to effort, we have managed to get more, a lot of Muslim brothers and sisters have embraced Islam, some, some, of, uh, some, some of them now. Some are sheikhs, some are ustadas, and some are, they have so many things, uh, some are professors. That is because of the effort which we, we put, and now it's bearing fruit. As you know, uh, because of these lockdowns and people had been locked in the various counties outside Nairobi, some have reverted to Islam, some have been calling me day and night, calling me, Sheikh Hassan, you know, you are the person uh, who, uh, who propagate this down to us, and we are Muslim, we are, we are want to fast. Uh, I told them, okay, I'm going to talk to our brothers and Muslims, uh, wherever they are. Because now I'm talking of where these people from Central Kenya. Central Kenya, I told you that is the one where you get to a densely populated place. But we say that Muslim there is, is minority and we need a lot of Muslims to become Muslims. 
So these brothers who are there, uh, who sometimes used to work in Nairobi, and they were locked outside, they cannot come here, they are calling us, they want assistance, they want to be helped, they want to have tar, they want to have uh, opening uh, 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 during the school in the morning, they don't have. They are begging to us, they are asking us day and night, please brothers, just help us whatever, whatever, whatever you have. So, Corona does not make a mumin, muminun, not to give sadaka. If you give sadaka, you cannot become poor because of giving sadaka. That's the, Allah says that like that in the Quran, the Holy Quran. You cannot become poor because you are giving sadaka or you give zaka. You cannot become poor. Allah will lead you. Uh, with, uh, Allah has a lot of bounties. And I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive every Muslim in this world. To forgive them. And, uh, and admit them to Jana, which he promised us. So, brothers and sisters, we are begging you, wherever you are, just assist so that we can, we can, we can uh, try to give the uh, brothers and sisters in this noble cause so that they can share with us, they can be happy with us. We don't want people to depart where they were before because if someone becomes angry, you know, Hungary, coming hungry is a very uh, big thing. People think it's a simple thing. If someone is uh, hungry, he can do anything. He can, can go back. If someone convinced him, tell you, why ah, you went to this religion. You look up the way you are hungry. Eh? Why don't you come back to our religion? Eh? Then they give, they give her or him food. Then the, the, the guy return or the uh, 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 daughter return. So, so, so many things can happen when someone is hungry. Uh, so please, we are praying to you. Please just assist. These remaining days of Ramadan, they, I know there is about two weeks and, and some a few days uh, before you go to Eid. These people needs. Uh, even some are telling me that they don't. They, they are calling me. They told me we don't have even uh, the clothes, the counsels. We don't have. Some women they are telling me, me, I, I, I become a Muslim. I don't have even a buibui. I just wear the way I used to wear before. And this is the thing is, we feel sorrow in our hearts, but what can we do? Eh? We have no, we, uh, we are not well, that we can help. And dear brothers and sisters, whenever you are in this world, the one who is hearing us, first of all, I would ask Allah to have mercy on us. I know many people are having fear and sorrow in their hearts because of this deadly virus, Corona. But these brothers and sisters is just a mtihan from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nothing in this world comes and it ends. The Corona is here today, tomorrow it will not be there. So wherever you are, we are praying to all Muslims in the world, wherever they are, where, wherever they hear us. We are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove from us this fear and sorrow from our hearts. And those Muslims who had been infected with the coronavirus, may Allah have mercy on them and heal them. And whoever pass away from this disease, according to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad will be will be entering Jannah like the Shuhada. So let us brother and sister, let us have uh, Subra. Allah is, is going to guide us and we are going to succeed in whatever we are doing. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, as you know, we are people from the Mount Kenya region in the central Kenya, where Islam is very, very low Islam. It's Muslim, they are a minority. We are the biggest tribe in this country, but uh, our tribe, there is no the religion there. If you, you go there, you, you, you just wonder, because we are very minority in the religion. And uh, uh, we have been trying with my brother here, uh, and some others who are not here 
we are trying very much to propagate Dawa to our tribe in central Kenya so that they become Muslims. And most of them have heard what, whatever we normally uh, discuss with them and have agreed to divert to Islam. And during this month of Ramadan, many of them, some were working, the factories are closed, some were employed somewhere, there's no work anymore. So most of the people are at home. And those people, normally they call me all the time, they tell me, Hassan, you are the people who, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you uh, uh, took shahada from us, Please just help us, brothers. We don't have food. We have uh, some of us. We cannot go back home. The, the city of Nairobi is locked down, so we, we don't have anything. Uh, so what do I go to do? So my brothers, I'm just requesting to you. In fact, the way we are dealing with the, those people of what is Islam, these people are in large numbers. The numbers, even I, I, I myself, I'm a liberty. My brother Sheikh Salim Gugu is a liberty, and others. And my friend, let me tell you, uh, if you hear the cries of those people asking for help, even if it's hard to eat, eh, is, is very, 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 uh, is a very big issue. So we are requesting you, brothers, please, like we have another town here where we have about 200 Muslims, and uh, those Muslims, they, uh, they don't have something to... To, to to eat something to they are just asking for just for a help eh? and uh, the, the number is coming increasing increasing daily and daily 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 basis and the number is increasing and some of some of the body are in this month of Ramadan at least up to now now about almost 10 to 15 people have reverted to Islam and they are in this city eh? and some of them uh, they say that oh, we don't have a problem, we don't have this, we have this. We have around, around two to two, uh, 200 to 300 people who need this help. Uh, we know that, brothers, uh, Corona does not make a mumin not to give sadaqah, not to give zakah. A mumin is a mumin. Wherever a problem comes, uh, big or small, a mumin remain a mumin. So we are asking, brothers, it's a humble request that, so that we try to reduce this number almost zero percent we need a lot of help from you uh, you can contribute whatever you want you can give whatever you want uh, small whatever whatever small or big that will be good for us so that if we, we can try to contact these people some of them we have their numbers they are somewhere not in Nairobi somewhere in other countries they are just calling us every day uh, we are having problems but, uh, you know most of the Ramadan we normally go to those counties we take clothes, we take food, but now it is locked down. We cannot come out of the Nairobi. So the best way is to just to get, when you get something, you just give it to the parcels and then it's delivered by the parcels, uh, parcel of vans. And uh, if there is a sort of food, they can buy from there. So we are requesting from you that uh, let, us, uh, let us be together. Let us try to help these brothers and sisters so that it's, uh, most of them, they don't go back where, where, where they were. You know, so if someone gets, uh, 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 he stay from morning to evening, he doesn't have something to eat. Then the, there's come another mutihan. Someone will call you uh, will, or you tell him, just come. Uh, we, you went to that with people, they are not helping you, so just come to us. So we don't want that. We want all, all those people who are of Islam, the sisters and brothers, to have faith, uh, their faith or to make their faith to be very strong so that they don't revert to where they were, uh, where they were before. So, brother, that is a humble request. Uh, we are going to give you some numbers, uh, and uh, after that, you'll see what you can do, you'll see what you can help, just help, just help whatever you can, whatever small or big, is very big in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah uh, is the sustainer of us, and Allah will make things easy for us, so don't worry forever you are, this disease comes, and Allah, has, uh, says, Allah says that any disease in this world, there's nothing in this world which are created, eh? any disease which has no cure. So don't worry. Allah is there, and he is uh, there with us, and he'll cure, cure, this, uh, cure us from this disease, and disease will go, go away. And things will come to, back to normal. So, brothers and sisters, have subra, have subra, have subra. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.